Hey everybody, welcome to the nightly vid. We'll keep it a little shorter, but I wanted to talk about one thing. So one thing we want to do, and this is something we talked about earlier in the week with Reddit, is we want to trigger bigger signals, such as the week, month, quarter, year, two-week charts, 15-day, 30-day, whatever you're using, just longer than one day. Why is that? Because when you have a daily signal, such as Inside Day Monday Reddit, and we put it on the list and we're like, hey, Reddit's good. If it breaks down, we got Pivot Machine Gun. What does that do? That triggers a weekly signal. And guess how long this bar's open? A hold trading week. And guess what? Is this a weekly PMG as well? It is three, so new high, new low, which means they sold it down. Then they bought it up. And now 2 to reversal, they're trying to sell it down again, right? And that's where we sell. So the daily signal causes this to happen, which means you can hold potentially the whole trading week. How do you know if you can hold? Confirming or negating. Do we confirm or negate what we know about Reddit on the weekly? So we enter short here. Our stop is the high of Tuesday's range or a reversal against us. Ideally the high, so smaller risk. It works, boom. Does that confirm or negate? How do we know? Well, does it take the low of this out or the high is the question. Lows get taken out, it confirms. Reddit's still going down. Seller's still present. How do you know if it's going to confirm? Well, it's going to go red, and then it's going to go two down. right? So if it's red, it's trying to confirm. Since it is still red, the weekly seller is still here this day. Because the day always confirms or negates if that weekly person is there, buying or selling. So if we go to a lower time frame, when you're framing a continuation, you want those bigger time frame signals. And then what do we wait for? Well, we want to see them sell, right? And then we want to triangle that out. And then we sell, right? We could have sold in here. Didn't work. So be it. That's fine. We just wait for it to set up again. Because this could be a small stop, right? Goes inside down here. Goes reversal here. How much do you lose? 75 cents. So be it. And then they sell. Then it takes a while. You can see they chop, shop them up. We wait. Then they buy. And then we sell here. What's our risk? One dollar, what do we make? Boom, 750. Did that 75 cents matter? It didn't, right? And then how do we actually, you know, make a big winning trade? Well, as long as we're timing our first entry at the highs and lows, we have a big winning trade waiting for us as long as it works. So in this 15 works, what else does it do? 2230. Can we add on that? We can, because guess what? You can see they sold. They bought, triangle they out, new highs, and then we sell right here, 2230, we sell. That's the add. And then what? The 60 goes outside bar shooter. And then it breaks down here. Can we add there as well? We can. So it's entry, add, add, hold. Target gets met. Okay, now I can start reducing or moving my stops to break even wherever my cost basis ends up being. And that's how we want to think about it. So when we're looking at this 60, right, if you're looking at this, you can see they sold it down, they bought it up. They went sideways, sideways, sideways. They tried breaking down, didn't go anywhere. It's okay. We want to reclaim this, right? You see previously they didn't have any reclaim. Right here, when this starts reclaiming, that's when we can go after it. So you can see not only can we do a 15er, but right here, inside fiver, time the signal, boom, short. Shooter momentum fiver, add. Slight corrective activity, two go three, three, two, add. And then close it at end of day. That's how we want to think. And this takes practice. This is something like even myself, I'm still not amazing at. Um, I'm good at timing, you know, this entry. However, if you can time the ads even better, right? Because what will happen is when you enter and then you add, your stop or your break even stop ends up being somewhere a little below your entry on the first position. And then if you add again down here, your break even moves and it's, you can see above your ad below this second entry. So you can trail your stops to break even until your target, once the target's hit, boom, huge winning trade. And even though you added, you were never at risk of losing a ton of money. So you could short three contracts, add three more, add 10 more, right? Now you have 16 when you started with three, and then boom, you make 16 here versus if you only took three here and then reduced, and then you only make maybe one or two contracts on this move. You have three, then you have six, then you have 16. Boom, this whole trade could be your whole week. This is how we need to think. And if it doesn't, let's say you take the ad, 
when this goes 3-2 here, your cost basis, you add a ton to it, right? Your break even stops here. It goes up, stops you out. So be it, right? We have a million times where this happens. It goes to new highs and then it rejects. It's simply finding the next one. Uh, the last thing I want to cover here is just the futures. What happened to the futures today? Well, we always want to go big time frames first. What did we talk about yesterday on the SPY? We talked about the 3-2. We specifically said there's a 3. You want to know about that. When you look at the futures, slightly different. You'll see it went 2 cents higher. So 2 up in red, 2 to reversal. So we know we're trying to go 2 to reversal. At least take this out. And maybe we can take this out too. They're just shy. I mean, the seller's not that aggressive. You can see the month, quarter, year. Obviously, the buyer's more aggressive still, at least on the big time frame stuff. But how do we time that then? Well, let's go to the daily open. We'll mark that out just so we have it. We'll just say event continuity just so we have it marked. We can use the 30 and 60 minute, right? Now, how can you time it? Well, the slight higher high here gives you reclaim. So when this gets reclaimed, guess what? You can start trading it. How do you time that? You can use a 5, a 15, a 30 minute, whatever you can find, right? You'll see they had the momentum shooter fiver here. Now, if you're not trying to catch the top, that's okay, right? Don't have to get the exact tick here. What do you wait for? You wait for triangle day out. Here's the new highs right here. Comes back in. Your stop goes against that stuff. And then same thing. We can look to add as this goes down in our favor. And ideally, we want to add after corrective activity like this. So they sell red, 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 red. So they go pretty much to the lows. And then it goes green right here. This reversal, it goes green, they buy it, and then it reverses, these buyers are wrong. Boom. And then green, they buy it, and then it reverses, they're wrong. Right? And then you go into your pivot targets. So we can look for higher time frames, where are we going? And lower time frames, look for the slight higher high back in the direction of bigger time frames. You can use this to trigger big time frames like we've shown Reddit on the daily to trigger the week. And then we can also use this to confirm what's already happening. Now, as far as what we've got going now, we had a change the day it opened green. So you see they hit their targets and then we went sideways, stuck in the middle. When you're sideways stuck in the middle, you make new highs, you reclaim. You make new lows, you reclaim. It's going to be going both ways, which is why we don't like trading inside days. However, if we go to like a four hour, what's happening on a four hour basis? We get the mother bar. So here it is. These bars are all inside of this bar. So the question is, similar to in here, these bars all inside of this, when is the broad information going to start? Right? We're going to look for new lows and new highs, and then we can trade that until it expands, which is what happened in here. They made new highs, new lows, new highs, and then expand. So that is that. That being said, we got a few things to cover here. Here's your nightly vid. As usual, meta goes inside day. So either side of that gets our attention. GEV, double inside day. Either side of that can get our attention. Core weave, hammer rev strat day in the technologies. Um, specifically, I want to say it's your AI type stuff, your data centers. STM, you'll see a two down and green on the day. Then AMAT, also in the chip slash AI, two down and green. Right? Maybe that keeps her going. Um, on the downside of things now, potentially the two, two reversal back through these guys. And then hood, which is a very interesting one, was stronger today. But if we do see follow through, could turn into a big wipe them out um, by changing that weekly continuity pretty quick. We'll see. You also have Robin if you want to trade the leveraged ETF version of Hood. And then SMCI, maybe a RevStrap PMG in there. And then Procter & Gamble, the shooter day. This is from our weekend vid, and you can see, right? Weekend vid, higher high, shooter week, pivot machine gun, everything you look for. Um, this is like A+, plus for getting a big move really quick. You get the slight higher high. What is this on a lower time frame? Well, let's go to like a 60. You go to a 30. You see highs, higher high on the 30, reclaim. That's what the daily triangle out looks like because it's a broadening or a triangle like so. So they sell it down, they buy it up, and then we sell. Bring them back in. Um, as far as, you know, some other things that are interesting, AMD, outside day. So we'll see. It's a broadening formation, so... We'll see if this grows as we get to the end of the quarter. And then maybe the QBTS RGTI. 
or the quantum. So QBTS from our turnaround Tuesday, corrective activity. So if we can take out this high, anyone short in here has a problem. And you can see that it's been buying. So we'll see if that keeps up. QUBT, also two up in red. So we'll see. And then RGTI, also two up in red. So we'll see, right? If they do go reversal, we'll be aware of that as well. Outside of that, um, we had some focus from last night's vid. Did we talk about LMND? We did, right? The one, the three, and then what? Expansion, boom, pivot, 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 keeps going. Now, how do you play it? Right? If you watched our video last night, you know exactly what you want to be doing. You can look for them to go up first. All right, we go to the 60, it'll be easier. Let them go up first. This is the sell, and then they buy, and then we can sell. Boom, three, two, gone. Right, and threes are a little bit more tricky to get into just because they're going to be occurring on lower time frames. So you can see the 15 minute pivot machine gun, pivot, 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 and then low a day pivot. So when this goes three, it shows what? Aggression. Threes equal aggression. So when you get out of the three, it's doing what? Aggressively selling in the downward direction against these buyers. When that occurs, the week is red, the day is red, the 30 went red with the 60 here. Three, two, boom, shooter. Right, corrective activity, add, boom, and slight, slight, into the close. Uh, we also had Oracle on the focus, which you'll see did come back, and we'll add this to the rev strat list for tomorrow, potentially. But Oracle, similarly, new highs, lower lows, right? So it goes up inside day. How do you play Oracle? Well, we mentioned this this morning right here at the open, the 60 minute. Did it poke down and then did it poke up? It did. It's a rev strat. A little higher high. 2260 reversal. What's that going to do? Trigger the day. Boom. Inside 60. What's this going to do? Confirm the day. Confirm. Makes the new lows. Inside 60 and then changes by negating. Is down, down, down. Inside negate. Now it's going up, up, up. And as of the close, they were going up. So we'll see if that recovers tomorrow. Um, if you go to AAOI, you can see it exited the three today. So potentially you get broadening expansion, kill all the longs in there. Um, we mentioned the jets or the airlines yesterday for the shooters countering the hammers. Boom. Is that magnitude hit? Yeah. Full time from continuity. Yep. It could keep going. You got the triangle here to get out of American Airlines. Is that a 2 2 reversal? Yep. Is everything red? Also, yep. United Airlines. Is that shooter? Yep. Boom, full time frame continuity. Delta Airlines. Shooter, yep. Boom, full time frame continuity. What about Royal Caribbean? Did we talk about that? We did. Shooter down. You know, still has some movement to do. CCL, we talked about that. We did. Boom. Um, and then NCLH, 2 2 as well. Boom. It's just not as weak in here. Um, then we did talk about Home Builders, which actually went Rev Strat and then Rev Strat again. So outside shooter, we'll actually add this to the list. And the video is dragging on longer than I expected. But in the home builders, we did see some rally and then giving them a little bit back. TOL, pretty much everything from last night. PHM, a little bit given back. We'll see. PHI, eh, all right, we'll see. These could also turn into continuations tomorrow. So we're going to be watching them overall since we saw some rotation. KBH, similarly. And then obviously Home Depot and Lowe's can also be in there. Um, on second thought, there's also some other stuff we didn't talk about yet. Staples and utilities. Can't forget. So Staples did firm up. What did we tell you to go after? SJM. Why? Because SJM was green week, green day, green 60, and it wasn't two down month. So hammer week to the upside SJM. We'll see if that follows through. Um, in the utilities, we also did see them rally here. I believe oh, there's a crazy utility mover today. It was right here, and this is why the scanner's so good. Look at this, XEL, right? Was everything green in here today? Oh, yeah. And you can see what caused the movement. 312, pivot machine gun. That's what caused this movement, is it not? Momentum hammer, notice they buy, profit taking, people get short, and then boom, take everyone short underwater, up they go. So pretty cool stuff there. We also did see Tesla relatively a little stronger today, just on the leaders list. Uh, that being said, we're going to end it off here.
Hopefully you guys enjoyed the nightly vid. We're doing them slightly different, but I think this is some fun stuff. And gosh, here's your Wednesday night vid. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning for those of you guys that are in stat. And if you're not, check us out at straddlers.ai. Peace.